Hi there, Kim Kesty here at Fun Stampers Journey. I'm the Design Concept Manager and I'm super excited to share another product spotlight with you today. I have been doing a few videos for you with the gel press, but I didn't want to neglect the darling little plate we have that kind of matches the gel press, and it's the Fluttering Hearts gel press. I've got it right here. So cute. Richard especially designed it with all the little cute little hearts on it. Um, this is exclusive to us on the journey, and I want to show you a project using it. Does that sound fun? Let's do it. I've actually got my Fluttering Hearts impression plate here. Um, I already shown how I store it, so I've taken off the acetate. So you can see it's in the clamshell with just the, uh, just the press by itself. I'm gonna put that down on my grid paper here. I'm gonna use it in a little bit different way today. I'm not gonna be using paint directly on the press, so bear with me, I think this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna be using one of our stencils, some clear pigment ink, I'll leave that there. Some Journey Gel Medium, that'll be fun to play with that. And one of my last steps is going to be using the Create a Dot stamp set too. So I'll set that aside for now. So what I'm going to do is just bring in some panels of whipped cream cardstock. Um, I'm going to put the size on there. I thought it was fun. I've had a few people asking me about, you know, what dimensions I use for my card. And since this is a little bit smaller than your average card panel, I went ahead and put the um, measurements on there. Just so if you're watching this video later, you can capture that. And here's my actual panel I'm going to work with. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in some of our fun pan pastels. This happens to be a few from the Rich Sorbet family. So you can see they've got all that yummy, wonderful, berry-licious color. And I've got my sponges that match. So the first thing I'm going to do is just prep this panel a little bit with the pan pastel. So super fun, super easy. Just come in and bring some pastel right to your paper. And again, you can use as much or as little as your little heart desires. It blends beautifully and the color is just amazing. When it goes on there, right away you get this blast of color. Love that. Let's get some pumpkin bread up here. And again, the card that I'm going to design for you is actually inspired by one of our designers uh, named Pat Patricia. And she did this amazing set of cards that I could not wait to duplicate. I had to just run in my craft room and do it. So this is kind of getting some inspiration from her. I'm adding a fourth color in here, just a few little select spots. So I'm going to just add a little bit of our raspberry berry in across the top. Again, nothing perfect. This is very mixed media-ish. You are going to love the results. So I'm pretty happy with that. I feel good about that for my first layer. I'm going to actually walk you through all the layers of this card because I think it's going to be really fun for you to see. So again, I have my Fluttering Hearts press here, and I'm just gonna use the one edge of it here that you can see on the camera. And I'm adding our clear pigment ink directly to the gel press. Again, it's got that wonderful, lovely squishiness to it. So I'm just gonna load it up with clear pigment ink. And I'm gonna take my pen pastel panel and just press it directly on. So I'm kind of using, as it a stamp, using this press as a stamp right now. But again, because it does have that extra squishiness, you can just really get that pigment ink all in there, kind of soaked right into the pan pastel. This is where the fun really starts. You can't see a lot right now, so I'm gonna move into adding more color. I'm gonna take those same exact colors that I added here and just bring them back in again. Now when I bring the pan pastel in again, I'm kind of using a little pouncing action. If you press too hard with the sponge directly on the ink, it tends to smear just a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of pounce that color in first, and then I'm going to come back and blend more if I need to. But the fun about this is that that clear pigment is so sticky, it just grabs that pen pastel so, so fun. So you can see how different it looks already. Isn't that awesome? Add a little bit more of my berry down here. So super fun, and I can, again, come in and just blend a little bit more. Maybe I'll take a little bit more of the gold down around the edge here. Just have fun with it. Now, I would say that right now, I love this panel. If I was happy with it, I could actually stop right here and just have a very fun panel to play with. I could be totally happy with it. But because I want to really get into the mixed media part, I'm going to add a couple more layers on. So bear with me. Okay, now we've got this guy. I can move my gel press away. And now because I want to add just another fun layer, I'm going to take our Nature Collage stencil 
And this is where the uh, gesso comes in. Let's see, I'll grab a clear block. I think that'll work good for a little palette. And I'm just taking one of our larger daubers. And I'm just gonna daub a little bit of the gel medium out here. Did I just say gesso? I meant gel medium, guys. This is just the clear gel medium. It's not gonna add any color to my project. So I'm just gonna sponge a little bit on my block because I kind of want to use it as a little stencil, dauber stencil. And then again, laying it across my project. I'm not gonna be real worried about getting the whole panel. I just wanna come in along the side, maybe do, oh, three quarters of it, two thirds, whatever floats your boat. And you can see that it goes on really clear. You probably can't tell a lot right away on the camera, but it's just gonna go clear. It's just gonna add another level Another layer to my project. So there's that guy. I'm actually gonna set this one aside to dry. And I have one here that I dried a little bit ago. So, can you see on the camera? I'm gonna tilt it. Oh yeah, I think you can see a little bit. Ooh, look at that, Roy is good. So you can see where that just uh, gel medium has dried on my panel. So guess what that's gonna do now? That's gonna create another layer for my pen pastel to grab onto. Right? You're kidding me, oh my gosh. Okay, watch. So when I come in and add more color, that is just gonna grab up some more of that color. I'm gonna kinda overlap a little bit more. Bring in my pumpkin here. Do you see how it's almost creating a really fun shadowy look? It's just grabbing just enough of that color it's a slight, I would guess I would almost call it like a resist. But it is grabbing a little bit of color on top of that medium. And again, you can go more dramatic, less dramatic, whatever you love. So you can see the difference right here between before and after. So see how it's added that just really fun shout out, that extra little depth on there? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now before I put my pan pastels away, I'm gonna add one more layer. And this time I'm just gonna add some black licorice. The only place I'm really gonna use the black licorice is around the edge. So I'm just coming in and adding just a little bit of black, black licorice. You can see that it's just gonna define my card panel. So I'm going around once, and then I'm gonna come back with a cleaner edge of my sponge and just kind of dust it off, clean it up just a wee bit. If I take too much off, I can add a little bit more, maybe on the corners. That's pretty fun. But again, I love how the black just really outlines that, gives it really great definition. Okay, awesome. Now, because this is a fun mixed media project, remember I said it was gonna be layers and layers and layers. We're gonna add a couple more layers. Let's do it. I wanna add a little bit of our paint now. But instead of just washing paint on here, which you could do, of course, you could add some fun little white edges. Um, I'm gonna wanna kind of thin our paint down. I'm using buttercream. You could also use whipped cream. I feel like the buttercream is kind of nice with these colors. I'm gonna put a little bit on my palette slash clear block. I love, love using these clear blocks for just about everything. You could use a workable sheet too or one of your plastics you've saved from another project. So you can see I've just added about a teaspoon of water to that blob of paint. Now I'm just gonna kind of work it in. I don't want it too runny. I'll soak up a little bit here. You want it about the consistency of cream, somewhere right around there. Okay, now I'm just gonna add some splatters to my card. This is why I have my apron on. I'll tell Roy, watch out. Promise not to get any white paint on your cameras. So again, you can see I'm just tapping it almost like you would use a silk, but I'm just tapping the paintbrush and adding some white splatters. Kind of fun, adds an actual one more layer of definition there. So awesome. So you, again, you can see the difference between my first panel and this guy. Love it. You guys, this mixed media stuff is so much fun and it's addicting. The more you do, the more you wanna try, you wanna add more layers, just have a blast. So let me show you a couple of the ones that I did earlier. 
And again, I just want to show you there's so many different color palettes you can do. These were a little bit bigger panels that I had trimmed. This has got sort of the same colors going on. Let's move my brush over here. And then here's one that's got a little bit more of purples and pinks. But again, you can kind of see that nature collage stencil coming through. I stenciled quite a bit on this one. Love it, I'm so excited how they turned out. Okay, now you want to see the finished cards that Patricia made? Can't wait to share them. One of you, you might have seen a little sneak peek of one of them on, I guess I'll leave that there, on one of our media shares. I think this one might have been featured on there. So look how darling Patricia finished these. One of them, she used the Create a Dot. That's the middle one. I'm going to kind of lay that stamp out here. She just took clear pigment ink again over that last layer, stamped it with clear pigment ink, and then again came in with just a little bit more of the pen pastel. And then that Create a Dot just popped right up. But aren't they gorgeous? You have all these beautiful sentiments. This one's embossed. She's got a little bit of the fashion gold and fashion silver. She even did a little stitching on her sewing machine. I just love these cards so much when they came in that, like I said, I had to come in, recreate them, share them with you. Check out that fluttering heart gel press. You are gonna love, love, love it. And of course, for any questions that you have, you can visit us on the website at funstampersjourney.com. And you can find a coach there. Check out all the other inspiration we have, you know, on the blog and all the other places. It's so much fun. So now I think it's your turn to bring paper to life. Mm -hmm.